Hey, well, welcome everybody. Um, Jalen, welcome you. Welcome. Thank you. Back. Yes, I mean, sir. you never left, and we, that's the point. Thank you for being here. Yes, sir. Ever since I met Jalen seven years ago, um, I've been completely, I guess, blown away, impressed by his intensity, his commitment, his passion. And it's not about him, it's about other people. It's about making his teammates the most successful, but even more, it's about being in the community and lifting everybody up. We spoke, all of us, the other day about this contract, and I think we spent the most time on Sunday talking about Bill Russell, the inspiration that he provides to all of us, the inspiration he provides particularly to Jalen, who's feeling that strongly and always has, and what we can do to honor Bill Russell in the future, just as one example of what we talked about. But it's not just about a contract or money or playing basketball, it's about making a difference in life. And that's what Jalen embodies to me and to my partner, Steve, and others, and to all of us here at the Celtics. He's a true Celtic. He's a Celtic for years to come. We live and burn with the desire to make the world a better place, and as well, not to be forgotten, to win Banner 18. And this is the next step to that, and it happened today, and you saw it right in front of you. And I'm thrilled to welcome Jalen uh, as the highest played Paid, paid player in NBA history, uh, one of the most talented, and uh, one of the people I respect the most who I've ever met. So, Jalen, congratulations. And I want to add that uh, since Jalen came here, he's been an incredible beacon in the community, the Boston Celtics Shamrock Foundation and Boston Celtics United for Social Justice. And uh, we, we plan to take that even to higher levels now with his leadership and working with the entire team, as, as Wick said. Um, we worked directly with Bill Russell to build the Bill Russell statue and his legacy and promote those programs. And I'm glad, uh, you know, Jalen has the same appreciation uh, of history. And hopefully we can make history together and make Boston a better place, the world a better place, uh, using, using the Celtics brand and using all the work Jalen's done in the community for us and for his foundation. And we're very excited about that, as well as the prospects for basketball. So thank you, Jalen. I think, I think um, I'm next. I just want to say, you know, it's, it's great to be in the presence not only of everybody up here, but certainly all the kids that are here. And, you know, we don't get a chance to do this with you very often. And one of the things that, you know, I've been really lucky is as a coach and now in the position that I'm in, is to see young people grow and work to eventually achieve their dreams and achieve what they want to want to set out to do. And you know, from the moment Jalen got here, it's been about growing. It's about getting better. It's about tackling every challenge. It's about you know, if things go really well for you that day, working hard the next day so you can be a little bit better. If things don't go as well for you. It's about working even harder the next day so you can be a little bit better. That, that pursuit of excellence never changes. And I think that that's a great separator when you're talking about a player, um, when you're talking about a teammate, when you're talking about a person that you want to be associated with and you want to have a long-term relationship with. And so it's not just, you know, obviously with all of you here, as you're thinking about how this impacts you, right? Regardless of your circumstance of what happened yesterday, right, good or bad, you can put your attitude towards making today the best that it can be and working to be the best that you can make it. And he's a good example of that, is one of the best examples that I've been around. And so I appreciate the fact that you're here to share the day with Jalen and his family and everybody else that's here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just to piggyback what everyone said, I think um, one of the first conversations I had with Jalen as the head coach was um, just to affirm uh, not the basketball player, but the person and kind of the gifts and the attitude and uh, just the energy that I get uh, when I'm around him. And he's the type of person that has made me better. Uh, he's made the people around him better. And the fact that we're here today um, for this moment, uh, but that he involved you know, his camp and, and young individuals just sitting here and seeing that I was in a position like that before and to have 
an opportunity that you guys have and to have a leader and an example in Jalen uh, just kind of says what you know we're all trying to accomplish here as people and I think it's so much bigger than basketball and that was one of my first messages to him uh, and it's you know the same today like um, you know even though uh, the expectation will be for you to, to be a great player it's it's even a bigger expectation to continue what you've done and I know you truly embrace that and I'm just honored to be a part of that so thank you and um, you know thank you guys for being here as well. I appreciate the investment and commitment um, from the Celtics and from the rest of the community. And that investment and commitment will be felt in return from me here in Boston, on and off the floor, but also hopefully soon around the world. Um, you guys being here is special for me today. Um, you guys represent the next generation. You represent the future. And everything I do is try to make this world a better place. So um, thank you all for being in attendance. Um, thank you all for being up here. Thank you all for sharing this moment. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. So let's get started. Hey, Jalen, what do you plan to do with the generational wealth? I mean, what do you plan to do off and on the, on the floor with this new contract? Well, that's a great question. I want to launch a project to bring um, Black Wall Street here to Boston. I want to attack the wealth disparity here. Um, I think there's analytics that supports that, you know, stimulating the wealth gap could actually be something that could be better meant for the entire economy. With the biggest financial deal in NBA history, it makes sense to talk about one, your investment in community, but two, also, you know, the wealth disparity here that nobody wants to talk about. It's top five in the U.S. It's something that we can all improve on. It's, it's unsettling. And I think through my platform, through influential partners, through selected leaders, government officials, a lot who are in this room, um, that we can come together and create new jobs, new resources, new businesses, new ideas that could you know, highlight minorities, but also stimulate the economy and the wealth gap at the same time. Uh, I think that could be a mix of commercial entities, real estate, residentials as well. Boston could be you know, a fully integrated, self-sufficient you know, hub, you know, attacking minorities and stimulating the wealth gap. I think Boston could be a pilot, not just for wealth disparity here in the U.S., but also for around the world. So you asked me what I wanted to do or what I want to do. Um, one, I want to, you know, attack that wealth gap here in Boston, create a project. Um, also, I want to help stimulate the overall economy, and I want to bring Black Wall Street here to Boston. Jalen, usually these press conferences, conferences are done just at the facility, not a ton of fanfare. Why did you want to do it here at your bridge program in front of all these people? Well, I think it kind of just happened to fall like that. You know, I think we would probably would all like to get the deal done a little bit earlier, but, you know, this is where this is the day it fell on, and I knew I was going to be here spending most of my time. So I thought it was fitting. I thought it kind of just kind of happenedly fell together like that. But what more beautiful place? than to be in the environment with, with youth, to be in an environment for learning that's supposed to be cutting edge and make the world a better place. And that's what, you know, I think we're all in the business of, you know, besides just entertainment. So for it to be here, I think was just divine timing. And, and now, as we are putting the pen to paper, we got a lot of work to do. And I think we're all in that same journey to make this place, this community that we all live in uh, better. And we all have that responsibility. Jalen, con congratulations. Um, how do you feel like the contract negotiations went? Seems like you both, both sides were very deliberate here, took your time with this, made sure it was done right. What kind of things were you looking for from the Celtics? Obviously, a lot of commitments off the court. I'm sure you'd love support from them on as well. And, um, you know, for Wick, how, how do you see the Celtics kind of partnering with Jalen on, you know, a lot of his initiatives off the floor? Is the question for me or, or for Wick? Uh, for both. Thank you, sir. Uh, what was the question again? I'm uh, sorry. It's, how, a little, it's a little <laughs> quiet. The, if we could turn the mic I don't think the mic's Sorry. Um, Jalen, first for you. Um, how do you feel like the contract negotiations went? And what were you looking to you know, get from the Celtics you know, on the court and off the court through these negotiations? Uh, I just I think it went great. I think a lot of time when you, when you talk about a relationship that you have, 
with individuals. You can just talk to them normally and direct because I've known these guys for seven plus years. And a lot of times when, you know, financial stuff kind of gets into play, you know, it gets a little bit, you know, more sensitive or et cetera. But I thought from my standpoint, you know, they understood where I came from. They understood where we came from. And it was all about just meeting that, meeting in a place where it made sense for everybody. And I'm glad that we were able to finish it and get everything done um, and to be able to have the community here um, at the same time, I think that was just, you know, the story Ryan wrote, write, writes itself. And, and Wick, your perspective on the negotiations, you know, things that were important to the Celtics and for Jalen and how, you know, the organization is going to support his off-the-court causes. Right. Yeah, off-the-court is, is a big part of our discussion. It was very uh, explicit. We spent serious time on it on Sunday, as an example. But it's always been that way with Jalen being here and with his teammates. We try to lead the league in things we do off the court, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't double it or triple it. I mean, that's the aspiration. Jalen's going to be a driving force in that. Um, in terms of having Jalen here, from my personal perspective, and I, I speak for the front office and the teammates and fans, I think I speak for everybody, um, he's the key. Jalen stood tall for, has stood tall for seven years here improving, to my mind, every single year uh, with hard work and, and with true talent. And we want to go win on the basketball court as well. It is entertainment. It is the fun part of the job. There's a lot more work to do than just that. But we intend to go do that. And having our all-NBA Jalen Brown uh, here enthusiastically ready to build and ready to grow from here off the court and on the court is absolutely uh, It's a great day uh, for the Boston Celtics. Next question, John. Jalen, when you sign a contract like this, fair or not, it's going to put a real bright spotlight on you. How do you plan to handle the pressure of a contract like this through the ebbs and flows of the season, knowing that the attention on you is going to be magnified? Uh, I think I look at life as stages and degrees. And everything that I kind of went through throughout my career has kind of prepared me for each stage. So I think like all the, the life circumstances, the experiences I've had through this organization, experiences I had in the community have all prepared me greatly to be in this spot. You know, I don't, I don't shy away from pressure. You know, I know what the demand is. I know what the expectation level is. And I know the work that is required. Everything about me is about work. Um, so I look at it as just another challenge to get better, another challenge to improve. I don't think nobody has seen my best yet. Um, and so God willing, I'll be able to put my best foot forward and do what I do best. Jalen, just to follow up on that, um, for you personally to, you know, this obviously is the biggest deal in NBA history at this point. For the franchise to, you know, come to with you with that kind of an offer, what was your reaction just to be able to sign this kind of a deal to have to know that the team wants to put this kind of, you know, faith in you as, you know, a player and a person here? I think it's great. You know, it's a, a much of appreciation is from me for the investment and commitment that I got that I have gotten from the city since I, I've been here. And I don't take that for granted. I know a lot of times you can, you can pick and choose and point out situations that may not have gone your way, but the overall appreciation to be able to be in this position is, is, is fantastic. So um, for me to be able to go out there, you know, every single night and play, um, but also represent the causes and the things that I stand for in the community, um, represent being a voice for the voiceless, you know, um, to me, uh, it's, it's, it gives my life and my meaning so much more purpose. So um, to me, I'm, I'm excited to do so. I'm excited to, to, to represent you know, this city, this organization. I'm excited to play. I'm excited to, to walk in the lights of people like you know, John Carlos, who's here, people like Bill Russell, um, et cetera, that you know, have paved the way for athletes just in general to be able to have platforms. And I think the, the life is changing. You know, the world is changing. And, uh, and I, I'm proud to be a part of that change. Jalen, uh, obviously there's been some changes within the roster this summer. Um, what kind of factors did, or what did you consider when thinking about how the uh, team has changed? Obviously there's Marcus leaving, Grant leaving, Chris Stapps coming in. Um, and what do you think kind of the direction of the franchise as it moves forward now? Definitely a lot of big changes. Um, change is not always a bad thing. Um, my brother, my teammate, one of my best friends is not on the team anymore. Everybody knows it. You know, I learned so much from Marcus. Uh, Marcus has been somebody that is like, you know, we, have, we butted heads at times. We fought. We didn't, we didn't did it all. Put each other in headlocks, et cetera. And his, his journey won't feel the same without him. 
um, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it's a part of life. It's a part of, like, what you do going forward. And everything that he's instilled into this organization, everything he's instilled into this community is still going to be with us, you know, still carry it with us. So, you know, we're going to wish him well on his, his new journey. Obviously, you know, the city of Boston is going to be, you know, feel the loss that, of his impact when he's no longer here. Um, but we'll be able to, you know, keep moving forward. And just lastly, like, what was Sunday like for you when it was final? Like, when this thing was done, you know, did you celebrate family, call people? Like, what was just that moment like for you? The moment was great. I was here with my students. We was in the middle of a, a robotic session. Um, so, you know, I was learning. You know, I was uh, um, a part of the curriculum. We were, we were doing some teaching, doing some active engagement, some workshops. So um, it was able to just put my phone down and just, you know, get right into, in, into class with the British students. That's, that's what I was doing. Jalen, uh, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, both posted that were, they were unable to reach you on FaceTime. Have you been able to reach out to them? Um, how do you feel about them calling you out like that? I, I, I'm not aware of what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he said that Rob and Grant tried to FaceTime you after you signed your deal. Okay. They couldn't get through. So they posted screenshots on Instagram saying that you've changed. Uh, <laughs> well, he definitely changed his number. I mean, care to respond and tell us how much you've changed? So you're not you too? Are you too big for your teammates uh, now? Nah, never, never, never. No, those are my guys. They, uh, I'll probably give them a call when I leave out of here. But um, I, yesterday was a crazy day. Probably the most my phone has ever been ringing and on the line. So um, I missed that call. But, you know, I'll make sure I get back with those he, guys. He was going to call him, but I'll call him tomorrow now. Uh, <laughs> Jalen, you're, you, you're not a guy that re overreact to anything. You keep everything in stride. But has there been a time in the next, last 24 hours you sat in the dark or in your room and looked in the mirror and said, 304 million? Like, you've just kind of digested how much that is, how generational wealth highest paid player in the league coming from where you came from. Have you been had a chance to swallow that and think about that? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, the way my, mind, my brain works probably maybe a little differently than others. Like when I first, you know, made sure when it first was finalized, the first thing that came to mind is like, dang, like look what all you can do with it now. Like how much you can invest into your community, what you can build with it, what you can change, who, how many lives you can touch, and like what you can do in real time. You know, that just, those resources that you have, you know, you know, money isn't everything, um, but the ability to have resources, to put stuff together, to build things, to change things, to have influence, all of that stuff is more inspirational to me than anything. So um, now the pressure is like, you know, now I got to build something fitting, something monumental to reach up to make sense for, you know, um, that astronomical number, but I'm, I'm excited to do so. Jalen, congratulations. You talked about the, the loss of um, some of your brothers, uh, Grant and Marcus, of course, but you have additions here. Guys, big addition was Porzingis. As you look towards next year, do you think this roster has what it takes to win an NBA championship? Of course. Of course. I'm excited to get started with the journey as well. I think what Chris Dobbs can bring to us defensively, in addition, some of our other guys can bring to us defensively. I want to make sure that's where our, we we hang our hats this year, you know. And that starts with me. That starts with 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 Jason. That starts with guys. Rob, you know, uh, with Mark is gone. You know, we don't want our defensive identity to go out the door as well. Um, so we got to really emphasize that at the start of training camp. Thank you, everybody.